Hey guys, I am at Lansdowne Mall here in Vancouver and this place definitely brings back memories because the first time I was ever in Vancouver, exactly three years ago, me and my friends, we were driving around looking for soup dumplings, you know, for fun. And that brought us to a stall called r &H Chinese Food. And like I mentioned, we were looking for soup dumplings and boy, did we find some good ones here. There are definitely a lot of options at this place. I've actually forgotten what I got here last time that was good besides the soup dumplings. So I'm just gonna get a whole lot of everything. First thing I'm gonna do, take a little bite, dump the soup out. Nice spoonful of soup. Add a little bit of vinegar, a little hot oil. Oh, ah, that's really good soup. Then what I like to do, pour a little vinegar into the dumpling itself, a little hot oil, like a dumpling injection. And then, mm, this dumpling is really nice. The skin is nice and thin. Nice, fatty, porky soup. Mm. That's a delicious soup dumpling. Look, everybody eats their soup dumpling a little differently. I know some people like to take a little bite and then suck the soup out. That's not my thing. I wanna see how much soup is in the soup dumpling. And this place definitely passes the soup test. The dough here is light and chewy. Look, you can even see the sauce and the vinegar that I put on the inside. Delicious. I actually really like their pork filling. It's a good size filling that's not overly mushy. The ingredients doesn't just all like mix together where you can't really tell what you're eating. Definitely a nice, fresh, fatty, porky flavor. And I really appreciate that. These are chive and pork dumplings, my favorite. The skin, I can tell right away, is not that thick, which is good because I really, really cannot stand dumplings with thick skin. Cause you know, when they have really thick skin, these dumplings, they're just shameless. A little dip in vinegar, hot oil. Mmm, look at that scrumptious filling. And when I took my first bite, a lot of soup just oozed out. Mm. That's a superb, superb dumpling. Wow, this is actually really, really good. I might like this even more than the soup dumpling. Let me try this again, make sure I'm not hallucinating here. Mm. Huh. <laughs> you guys saw that. The soup just bursted out of this dumpling. Look at this, look at this. See how much soup just came out of this thing? This is like a mini soup dumpling in his own right. Oh, that is a juicy dumpling. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find really, really good boiled dumplings. And this, this is magnificent. I love just taking the whole dumpling. It's like a soup gushing dumpling bomb. Mm. Oh, that is incredible. That is an incredible dumpling. Guys, I'm telling you, when you come here, don't just oogle the soup dumplings. Show these guys some affection too, because I guarantee you, they're gonna love you back. This I heard is something they do really well here. This is the beef uh, pancake. This is essentially a scallion pancake with uh, slices of beef inside. Wow. This is definitely a solid dish. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hope you guys got all that. You can tell this pancake is freshly made because this pancake is really flaky and chewy. And the sauce inside, I think that's just regular sweet flour sauce, but there's just something about this that makes it extra delicious. I think the key is in the pancake. Now that you guys can see, the pancake is really thin, it's really flaky. The meat itself gives off a nice beefy flavor and they add a lot of sauce. Also, the meat is not lean. There are some fatty chunks of uh, beef in here and some beef tendon. This is really, really, really good. You guys ready to make this even better? Let's do a little hot oil action here. Mm. Now it's sweet, savory, and spicy. When I say that hot chili oil makes everything better, that's an understatement. Mm. This dish in particular, because it's a little fatty, it's a little sweet, it's a little saucy, you dip this in hot oil and that acid just makes this fly. You know that whole Red Bull gives you wings thing? That's crap, hot oil gives you wings because this now tastes heavenly. I really didn't know whether to get this or not because I saw this on the menu, it looked good. These are sheng jian bao or fried pork buns. My first bite made no contact with the filling because look how small the filling is in respect to the bun itself. With that said, as this was cooking, this filling released so much juice that this dough itself became really, really delicious. It's got a nice crisp factor on the outside and it's just tender and chewy on the inside. Let me try the filling now. 
these guys, they got it down with the filling. I mean, this, the soup dumpling, the dumpling, all of them, the filling is delicious. These are definitely really dense and oily. I'm not gonna argue that. But even the dough itself, I mean, when it comes to these buns, I'm afraid of taking a bite and all I eat is just oily, blend, chewy dough. Definitely not the case here. And finally, I got a Chinese pork burger here. Anybody who makes them, I, I will wanna try them because this is one of my favorite native uh, Xi'an dishes. And just from looking at this crispy on the outside, really soft on the inside and the filling look at this this is a good blend of fatty and lean pork and this actually looks really legit Honestly, this is really not bad. Typically with the Xi'an dish, there's no sesame seeds involved, but the sesame seeds gives this a nice crunch. I like that. What's really different between this and a Chinese pork burger is that they really incorporated a lot of Sichuan elements uh, in this burger. So in addition to the pork being fatty and tender, it's spicy and numbing as well. It's not a flavor profile I'm really used to when eating this dish, but whenever you make something spicy, I'm 100% on board with that. I'm actually really surprised. This is as good, if not better, than what I remember from three years ago. I think the food item that really caught me by surprise today are the dumplings. I mean, those are legit some great, great dumplings. So if you come here, I definitely recommend the soup dumplings, the chive and pork dumplings, beef, scallion pancake rolls. Oh, and don't forget about the stew pork burgers. And you, you know what? Just, just get one of everything. If you've been here before, let me know how you like their food. If you haven't, go try it out and let me know how you like it. Let me do a little tally here. I got one and, and a half of uh, fried dumpling, four regular dumpling, two beef pancake roll, and one in a, in a third of a burger. Yeah, this is all going down. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching.